porn addiction, denial to acceptance, the five stages of grief. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. In this video, I want to talk about grief. And I've made a longer video that will be out in just a few days. So stay tuned for that one because it breaks down lost, longing, and the feeling of loss that goes along with grief. In this video, I want to talk about the five stages of grief and how you know you're moving through them when it comes to quitting porn. Okay, let's break them down. First of all is denial, and that's why I've entitled this video From Denial to Acceptance. And if you're out there and you're watching this video and you're like, this lady's nuts because she's telling me that porn's bad, and you're about to type me a comment telling me what I can go do with myself, you may be in denial. And when we're in denial over something that we have lost or we are about to lose, as in porn use, it can really hurt. So if, let's give you an example of if somebody told you that your partner cheated on you, you wouldn't believe them because you love your partner and seemingly your partner has been there for you and is, loves you. So you're like, no way, man, that would never ever happen. That's denial. But if it's true, you have to move from denial to acceptance to figure out what you're going to do about it. That's grief. And now these stages are not linear. People flip flop back and forth and it creates something called disenfranchised grief, which I'll talk about in just a second. This is from Elizabeth Kubler-Ross and David Kessler. And Elizabeth Kubler-Ross has written a book about uh, the things that people who are dying have felt. And they've put together these stages based on people who at the end of their life, what they have witnessed as their experience of moving through grief. Okay, so denial is first. You're in denial, no way man, porn's not bad for me. And you know what, anyways, I don't really watch that much porn. I only watch it every once in a while to relax. It's harmless. Now, if you listen to my videos, which there's hundreds of them here, you will know that in fact, science shows that not only does porn damage the frontal lobe in your brain by decreasing the functioning of your frontal lobe, knocking it out, and, and physically impairing the cells, it also desensitizes the reward center in the middle of your brain, which we know is associated with erectile dysfunction, PIED, which so many people struggle with. They have porn-induced erectile dysfunction. So when you go to be with your partner and you're not able to, that is traced back to your porn use. That is what many times snaps people out of the denial that porn is not good for them. Other times it's brain fog, it's lack of motivation, it's anxiety, depression with seemingly no real root cause. But when you figure it out, porn isn't good for me, you move from denial to anger. This may be when you go to put the comment or to send me an email on what you think about me because you're angry with me that porn isn't good for you. Maybe you become angry with yourself because it's difficult to stop watching porn. So now there's more anger. We know that porn use causes more anger also, but you may feel angry that you've allowed yourself to stay in this thing for years or decades and it's difficult to come out of and a response can be anger. And that's actually the second stage in grief. You move from denial to feeling angry about what's going on with you and you don't know how to get out of it, which is also frustrating. Now, the next stage, stage number three, is bargaining. Bargaining is, you know what? I'm only going to watch porn on Friday nights. That's bargaining. You're like, okay, I'm not in denial anymore. Yeah, it's probably not good for me. So I'm gonna decrease my use and I'm only gonna use it every once in a while, Friday nights. But then Friday night becomes Wednesday night and it's challenging for you. Or I'm only gonna watch porn for an hour and instead it's five hours and it's bargaining back and forth. I'm only going to do it a little bit. I'm gonna go a month without doing it. It's bargaining because you're moving from denial and then you were mad about it and now you're trying to figure it out, bargaining up and down, which moves you into the next stage, stage four of depression. So let's say you decide you're gonna quit porn and you write a comment, which so many people do. Wish me luck, boys, I'm going for it. 
which I always write back, good luck, change something, change anything. You have to change something if you're going to succeed. So when you commit denial to anger, to bargaining, then when you try and if it doesn't work, you might fall into a depression or you're trying and you haven't been able to figure out all the pieces to succeed and you feel awful. That is the next stage in grief. It's like, dang, I don't know what to do about this. The loss is real. I really need to deal with this thing, but it's very difficult for me to do so. I feel awful about it. And also porn use does contribute to depression. So it makes the stages of grief even more difficult. When you move through depression, the next fifth stage is acceptance. It's like, all right, I got a problem with this thing. I'm not able to just watch it on Fridays. I'm not able to go a month without watching it. Maybe it's time for help. And so when you move from denial to acceptance, you can allow yourself to move into the place where you can get the help that you need. Leaving porn behind is very difficult to do by yourself. If you've been trying to do that and you're not succeeding, it's not because you can't do it, it's because you don't have the right tools and the right support. We know that from the science. Science shows when you use the proper strategies and techniques and you have professional help that knows how to help you move through, you can succeed. That's the only thing that's missing. So when you get to acceptance and you're able to reach out and get the help that you need, then you can succeed. That's why I've created my 90 day program. It's a digital program. It's just like porn in that it is affordable, accessible, and anonymous. For the value, you won't find a bigger, more comprehensive program that has support for the dollar amount. And it will move you through the process that you need to move through to unwire, rewire, and hardwire your brain so it performs better so you can make the behavioral changes that you need to to succeed. That's the missing piece. But you have to go from denial to acceptance to allow yourself to be able to get the help that you need. And I know how terrifying it can be, but I also know that when you get the help you need, you can move into a totally new place and become a better version of yourself. And I talk about it in the next video, going from small s self, that, that untrue, wounded child version of yourself who's stuck in there and is using porn for self-soothing, to growing that guy up and becoming the confident capital S self, the true authentic self that's in there who doesn't need porn, who can grow into dealing with discomfort and difficult things in your life without having to escape into the screen. That version, that's the transformation that I'm talking about. And it would absolutely be my honor to be part of that journey with you and for you. And I'm already excited for you if you get to the point of acceptance because on the other side of it is a totally different life that you could have never imagined for yourself. I'm telling you, I've seen it thousands of times. It's the most amazing transformation that you can make that you don't even know is waiting for you. So make sure you watch the video that's coming out on Wednesday because it's so powerful. It's gonna help you to be able to understand it even more. But right now I want you to know there's five stages of grief and you can go back and forth, back and forth between them until you get to acceptance. You might even get to acceptance and move backwards again. But when you get to full acceptance, that's when you get to 100% commitment. Sometimes that's part of my 90 day program. Sometimes that takes 45 days to get to 100% acceptance and commitment. It's part of the deal. But once you get there, there's no going back. And what happens is you can move through the pain and create the peace that you're looking for. And that's what I want for you, and that's what you deserve. So if you're looking for help on the journey, please reach out to me, drtrishlee.com. If you go to the tab on the website that says Why Porn Brain Rewire, it'll give you all the information that you need on how you can succeed in this journey. All right, until next time, control your brain or it'll control you.